lurk in your very midst. They bask under every shadow. At any given time, you're never more than a meter away from them. Yes, spiders. Those eight-legged critters with whom we human beings share an eternal love-hate relationship. As well as our ecosystem, whether we like it or not. Despite appearances, many of them are relatively harmless to humans. While others, mm, not so much. But just like sharks in the ocean, spiders play an important role in the balance of nature. But still, people tend to be not so keen on them. I absolutely hate them. I loathe spiders. They scare the little crap out of me. They're just frightening. I think they're all poisonous. I know they're not, but I feel like they are. They're just like unwanted guests, you know? I, I didn't invite them into my home. I don't particularly like them. I just I don't want to hurt them. I just want them to just, just kind of do their own thing, you know, without me actually knowing that they're there. But of all the 40,000 or so different types of spiders in the world, there is one that is feared perhaps the most undeservingly. Huntsman, what's in the name? Have you come a hunting me? Huntsman, what is your game? Have you come a hunting after me? The Huntsman Spider, big, hairy, and feared by many. But why? On the outside of this window, there was a, a fully grown huntsman just spread eagle on the window. And I was looking at it, I was just like, what on earth is that? And my dad goes, oh, that's a huntsman spider. <gasps> and just the sheer size of it. I mean, in England, you don't have spiders that big. So it's just like, bam, in your face. And you're just like, <laughs> gobstruck. The media tend to play them up like they're scary. Um, movies like arachnophobia and other shows, if there's a spider, someone's afraid of them. So I kind of just joined the ranks. Yep, they do get pretty freakishly large, but just how dangerous are they really? They're nowhere near as dangerous as what everyone makes them out to be. Yeah, they are big, they are hairy, they are scary, but again, they're mildly venomous. Um, the most, if they do bite you and you do have a severe reaction, you'll get nausea, you can get vomiting, diarrhea, hot cold chills, but in a matter of 24 hours, people are usually perfectly fine. Now wait just a minute, you're telling me this badass is harmless? As a matter of fact, it is so. The Huntsman Spider can be found just about everywhere on the Australian mainland, as well as across all but the coldest parts of the rest of the world. By rights, they should be masters of the planet, so why haven't they wiped us out? Truthfully, they prey on um, bugs, um, beetles, uh, all types of insects, but they have been known to prey upon um, white-tailed spiders, what are commonly found in houses, so that's pretty cool to know that he does eat that little spider. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. It's never been conclusively proved that white-tailed spider bites cause ulcerative skin lesions or necrosis. But still, it's nice to know that the huntsman can help keep them under control. Plus, can you imagine other household pests breeding out of control without spiders like the huntsman there to keep their numbers in check? But still, they are undeniably creepy. On the wall is just this massive huntsman. And mate, I... I... I didn't know what to do, I kind of froze, you know, because there's this massive spider and you're in a bit of a precarious situation at the time. My brother, he, I was sitting on the couch in our house and he was sitting on the other side of the room and he said to me, hey Al, look next to your head. And about this far away from me was a huntsman crawling on the wall. I can remember once I was at TAFE doing, my, doing a welfare course and um, I remember we went out for lunch, the class broke, we went out for lunch and when I came back, there was, a, there was actually a huntsman sitting on the sitting on the wall, just like above where I was sitting, and I just froze. I just I froze. I was like, I can't, I can't even go get my stuff to move seats. I had to get somebody else to go and get my stuff. And sit. I, I was just the, the fear of just. They don't really make webs. They're more of a wandering spider. So they cruise from your lounge room to your bathroom to your bedroom to your toilet roof, and yeah, you know, a lot of people in the middle of the night go to the toilet, and there's a huntsman sitting above their head. And you know, in the past, they're like, oh, they jump at you, they fall at you. They can sort of have a little jump, but it's more they just drop off the roof and land on you. They aren't trying to bite you, they just accidentally landed on you. If you stay perfectly still, it just run off you. But it's when people grab the spider and try to throw it, that's when people seem to get bitten. Truthfully, if you do find one in your home, don't touch it, just leave it. They don't do harm. It's when you provoke them or grab them, that's when they tend to try to bite you. But if you leave them and you walk away from them, they're not going to chase you, they're not going to hunt you down. Truthfully, they're happy just to stay in your house.
But if you ever had to remove one from your house, the safest way to do it would be to get a container, go directly over the top of the spider. They are very fast, so you got to try not to squish their legs. So be very careful and do it directly over the spider. Slide a flat lid behind, trap the spider, and then you can just remove it outside your premises. There's no need to kill the spider. They do lots of good jobs in the environment. Well, there you have it. The huntsman is not your enemy. But knowing this, would you be prepared to meet one up close? I, I would think I would have to say yes. I think I would, I would. I probably would just to sort of conquer that fear of huntsmen themselves. If it was any other spider, I'd probably say no. But um, huntsmen, I think, I think just to sort of break down that sort of fear and confront my fears, sort of thing, I probably would. Mate, I don't know if I had some protective clothing on or something, or you know, like maybe just on my hand. But I, I think I'd just have to give it straight back. That's okay, we won't force you. Just remember, big and hairy doesn't necessarily mean he's your enemy. Huntsman, what's in the name? Have you come a hunting me? Huntsman, what is your game? Have you come a hunting after me? A mate of mine's a tree surgeon, right? And I asked him, like, because I met another bloke who was a tree surgeon, he said he deal with them all the time. And so I said to him, have you ever had any problems with huntsmen or spiders or whatever? And he said, yeah, he, he was carrying a, a log on his shoulder and this huntsman just ran up oh, straight in his mouth. And I was like, ugh. So I said, what did you do? And he said, well, mate, I couldn't really do anything because, like, there's a huntsman in my mouth and I just happened to have my mouth open at that split second. And if I bit down, then it'd bite me. So he just had to wait for it to leave. So, yeah. And how do you deal with huntsman spiders that you find in your home? I get my husband to get rid of them. <laughs> he thinks they're great because they can eat all the flies and all the mozzies and all the other things, but I prefer flies and mozzies to spiders.